Hello YouTube. So as you can see I've just installed Steam Launcher. So I'm going to show you how to fix it on an AMD box. So we'll exit out of root and we'll just run Steam as it suggests. Now I get to this part and this is where it all goes wrong. LibGL error because of my AMD drivers I'm assuming. So control C let's stop that for now and what we do is I found a little fix and this is the code I'll, I'll put this code in the description for you so we run this so find steam blah 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 so it goes in there and it deletes the outdated uh, libs so we'll run that that's done and let's run steam again and here we go steam updating so this is this is how you f fix and solve that problem so i've um this is a fresh install, brand new install. I I got two hard drives in my computer, and I tried to clone over my 500 500 gig to my terabyte, and I tried to uh, run it off that, but I couldn't work out how to get the grub situation sorted out because the grub was all still set up to boot up on the 500 gig hard drive. So I finally went in and changed the hard drive info in the grub config. But uh, I don't know, still, still wasn't right. So because the UUIDs were the same for both hard drives, so no, I didn't know what to do there. I, no, anyway, that's that's a, another little informative project for me to do sometime down the track. So so I still need to um, I still need to reformat my other hard drive so I can turn that into a storage drive actually I might do that before before I download my games for Steam and have Steam store my games on a separate hard drive so I might have to google how to do that as well but yeah Steam runs through its updates and does its thing I can close my browser now I shouldn't need that So yeah, I've got HTOT running on my other screen I wanted to watch my memory usage, see what apps are pouring out with the memory. Yeah, once this is finished updating it should, should launch Steam without a problem. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this bloody preload warnings that are keep errors that keep getting ignored. So I don't think that's anything to worry about. I haven't had a problem with Steam, so on my other install anyway, other calculate install it bloody run run beautifully, so well, it hasn't errored out yet, so it's still doing its thing. Here we go. Gee, he's got a lot of bloody exception handlers. Another update. What's going on? Here we go. Now the main client. Log into existing account. I'll move this to another screen and log in for that. So I just click the login button and now we're going to do the authentication through the what's that sent to my email so I'll take that off the other screen uh, there it is 
Oh well, it's generated anyway, so it shouldn't matter. Generates a new one every now and then. Paste next. Finish. All right. And there we go. Go to the Steam games. Yeah, I don't play Call of Duty anymore, but anyway, so that that's how you that's how you do it. So cheers for watching the video and hopefully uh, it helps someone.